Start recording. There we go. Oh, I should probably make sure I have hard drive space before we get this on the road. Eh, I got 227 gigs. That's fine. All right, hey everyone. Wonderbot here, and welcome to a ground. Came out earlier this week, or maybe late last week. I'm not entirely sure. But it's... I guess we might as well get started. Oh, God. Time to make my little potato man. Okay. Hair color. Hair style. Well, black hair is meaningless. Now, what's red? Oh, it's orange. Okay, let's let's gray. Let's let's see what hairstyles we can get here. Nope. Okay, eye color is going to be <laughs> Can I do this? Oh, is there no Can you not have black? You can't have a black shirt. Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like there should be music or something for this, but that's okay. Alright. So cold and tired. I need shelter, but there's nothing around here but fallen branches. I have to try building a hut. Eight wood should suffice. Okay, Z to collect wood. I am the dark potato. I am the dark one. I can barely hold all this wood. My stamina will go down, fa go down faster now. I almost have enough wood to build a hut. I was hoping I could loot the, uh, the rat. Add it to my inventory. Okay, what? Not bad for my first shelter. Help. Please, shelter. Someone's outside. Can I trust them? Yes. Thank you. I owe you my life. Well, what, what do we do now? For now, we stay warm and dry. But what about after that? How will we survive in this deserted island? Is there even any point? We're stuck here. There's no going back. At least we can try. Maybe life here won't be as bad as you think it will. What is that guy eating? I have no idea. Alright, so things have already immediately happened. I really expect to be able to survive here. It's hopeless, man. You're you're going to build oh, you're good at building, right? What if we built something to store the resources and food we gather? Ah. I guess with eight wood and four berries, I might be able to make some uh, make a decent storehouse. Alright. I can find that, no problem. Take this stone axe if you're so gung-ho. Okay. This is very definitive potato. I... This reminds me of... What was that game I played re a while back? We've leveled up, we get 10 skill points. Max health, max stamina, max weight capacity, critical evasion, defense, cuts. Increases damage when cutting trees, range for all weapons, fishing. Uh, we got 10 skill points and some of these are kind of expensive. Cut is apparently pretty pricey, so let's just increase my, my max, uh... My, my max carrying capacity. Is this a good game? Kind of too early to tell. It seems like it's one of those games that was, uh, like a popular web game and they, they brought it to Steam. At least, that's from, uh, that's as far as I could see. I was trying to get close to it at PAX, but it was, uh, like it was, there were a lot of people just hanging out outside of it. So there's gotta be some merit to its existence. I wonder what happens when we run out of stamina. Can I... Oh, it's E. Nope. It's V? V. Okay, so I can just eat some berries. There we go. And it looks like we have, effectively, infinite berries. You gathered everything already? I'm impressed. Let's get this storehouse built. Look at that. Don't you feel accomplished? Yeah, actually. This will be useful. Now we can avoid getting tired out from carrying too much. Ah! Shit! Old man! Help! 
You dick. All right, well, I've defeated the boar. I've got, yeah, let's keep pumping points into my carrying capacity. Okay, Builder added one wood to the storehouse. Oh, so it looks like he'll just add stuff. Did you see that miner emerge from underground? You should see what she wants. Oh, inventory is still full. Okay, so enter storehouse. We want to drop off all the wood. And probably all the meat. Let's see, red berries. Okay, red berries are not for consumption. So I'll probably hold on to the apples and the other berries. Oh, hey, didn't realize there are other survivors. I've been underground. There's way more to this place than meets the eye. I've got an extra pickaxe if you want to check it out, too. Well, what are you waiting for? Just hit down to dig down and find those ores. Uh... Oh. Oh, boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Digging straight to hell. So... The builder will just add stuff to the environment around us. There's something over there. There's a horror murder worm. Okay. It looks like it just kind of goes. I don't know how much of the world comes back? Honestly? Has anybody heard of this game before? Uh, just so I could know, like, what I'm doing wrong. Because this is... I'm not going to say bewildering necessarily, but... It's... This is not exactly what I was expecting. I truly was expecting something a little bit closer to... Uh, Terraria, or, um, something closer to Terraria, or, uh, what are we, can I just rest in here? Okay, I can just rest in the hut. So when I arrived here, I just started digging and didn't even realize there was a storm. But I'm glad you're here, I was getting tired of eating dirt, and there's nothing like a warm fire after a long day underground. Do you think there are more survivors out there? Honestly, I'm surprised any ones survived that crash, but here we are. So many, uh, so maybe others survived too? Okay, you've beaten this game before. How is it beyond this? Like, it seems like the, there's a leveling system, but it doesn't seem terribly robust. There's that weird worm, which, like, we might as well go on a bit of a, a journey to figure out where it was headed. It actually looks like it just stopped existing at this point. I remember playing this game before. It was instant game over if you die. I believe it's actually you go back to your latest save save point. But yeah, this is a Congregate game. It certainly feels like it. Was it it was Wayward. Was the uh was the other island survival game that I played kind of in this vein. Oh, there's there's some actual ore. It's mostly coal the entire way down, but a little bit of iron would go a long way. Nope. It looks like the worm just follows a set path. So it might just patrol until we finally, like, fight it or something. Okay, and we level up again. Oh... Mining speed is 20. Yeah, let's let's save up mining for his mining speed and stuff But yeah, I was expecting you know, I was expecting something kind of a little bit closer to Terraria. It's interesting how uh, There's no sense of gravity or anything like that it's just a world ish. Hey, you. Did you see me take down that boar? Yeah. How? How did you do that? Simple. A bit of proper technique's all you need. I'm trying to clear out this area. If you help me out, I can teach you how to hunt. Sure. You need to employ the element of surprise. Hit enemies from behind. You'll get a critical hit. 
Bows are my weapon of choice. Here, try my workbench. If you, you can make a bow and some arrows on your own. Use these archaic buttons that make no sense as you're playing this on keyboard and mouse. Why don't you craft a bow and kill some boars? Let me know if you need any hunting tips. Do I just, do I just go up? How do I use this workbench? There's more to this planet than meets the eye. I have been doing experiments and I believe I've discovered magic. I'm in need of near more materials. If you come across a worm, slay it and give me its dragon blood. I'll make you, make sure you're rewarded. Okay. So we are now also a wannabe dragon slayer. Seriously, how do we get up to... Dutsky's... It, I don't know. I think he gave you a workbench to put down. Oh, so he did. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's bring it back to base, though. No point in making a, a workbench out in the middle of nowhere. Alternatively, we might have to. Okay, we can kill this boar. Oh, good. Oh, good. So, if he, if he nets a kill... If he nets a kill, I don't get any reward for it. Well, that's annoying. I guess we're just going to be axing things. My boar! So yeah, it follows basic Terraria logic. The further you go down, the harder the pickaxe you need. Well, kind of figured that's the case. I probably should have done this underground. I mean, I think you just get EXP by existing, let alone doing anything else. How's the digging going? Maybe we should build a smelter to melt down the ores into bars. Great, let me know when you have enough coal. That's the stuff. I should have a smelter up in no time. So I actually have no agency apart from fetching. The smelter can turn raw ores into bars. It requires fuel to melt them down, but luckily there's plenty of coal around to keep it running. Alright, uh, max health? Maybe not, uh, let's cancel that. Okay, so we want to do add fuel, add iron bars, but we need fuel. Okay, so we've made an iron bar. Uh, let's, let's figure out this whole crafting bench thing. It does look like uh, playing this with keyboard and mouse is pointless. Okay, use the workbench so I can make arrows, but I need I need my iron. Did I do I have my iron? Oh, I can I can collect my iron bar. Okay. And it looks like trees regrow. Maybe I could be wrong. Okay, so bow. And yeah, we'll want to look into archery. So fires arrows, stamina per hit. All right. Now it looks like I get two arrow per. Well, let's let's see if I can make a a, a berry was stolen from the storehouse. What? Okay. Well, let's just get a ludicrous amount of arrows and then see what I can do. Okay, forty-eight arrows. That should, that should do it. Uh, let's equip. Let's go find, let's go find a critter to, to murdenate, if I can. Okay, pick berries. We also have a farmer that has just randomly showed up. Boy, am I glad to see you here. I was thinking I was all alone. Just one old man in an empty world. I still got some life in these old bones, and I reckon I can help you out. Farming's my trade, and we all need some good food to keep us going. How about we build a barn to get a farm up and running? But first, I must find a boar and fight it. How do we fight? How do we fight? 
Okay. So it's it's C to shoot. Gotta find actual boars boars to shoot at though. Unfortunately it looks like there might not be any left. Cause yeah, I can't actually go up and I don't know if we actually have the ability to do so. This is an interesting game. I think I like the music the most. I think if it looked more modern and it played like it's I like the idea of building up a, a, a settlement like this. That That's actually a nice system. And I like how it quickly progresses, but I also wish I had more agency, you know, I was putting down the structures and stuff. Now I bet you youngins are thinking, this is the end of the world, but I thought the same to World War Three, and yet here we all are. The way I see it, we just got to make we just gotta make the best of this situation, and be glad there's food to eat and company to share. How long will we have to live on this godforsaken island? Who knows, but as long as there's life, there's hope. Perhaps in time, this island will be as good as home. Also, I'm gonna die of old age within the next two weeks, so who gives a shit? Y'all are on your own! I'm just gonna make some berries. Oh, I wasted an arrow. Can I... Can I not collect from the bushes now? I guess not. I'm not missing the button. A creepy window wizard. Okay, so I can still collect, and I guess maybe that bush just didn't have berries on it. So do we have any boars? Okay. Well, I guess my next order of business is just to wander around aimlessly down here. Actually, because yeah, I can't, I can't go, I can't do anything with that. Huh. But yeah, I don't know. It just sucks a little bit when you have uh, a game. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, uh... Okay, so I got- I got the dragon blood, so let's go give it to the, uh... I'm not really sure if that counts as a- oh! Oh wait, no, 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 I just destroyed the corner on that. Okay. Yeah, I would- I think I would be maybe a bit more enthusiastic about this if it looked like Kingdom. Kingdom looks so good. I knew it. This is the secret. I'm, I- I don't even remember this guy's voice. I must set up a laboratory immediately. Alright, so we've built a laboratory. Your reward, bring materials to my lab and I'll mix up a magic potion for you. Okay, so we can make attack potions, defense potions, health potions. Stamina potion, speed, endurance, and an enchanted shield. Okay, so the enchanted shield is just straight up equipment. Gotcha. Oh, is there, um... Is there durability on things? Maybe just on the enchanted shield that, uh... That he had me collect. Okay, so the, the NPCs will go out and grab stuff. I almost kind of wish I had more agency on how I built stuff and whatever, because I like the idea of one of these, like, uh... You know, one of these kind of builder sandbox adventure games. Like, if there was more of a, like, an immediate story? Uh... Well, no, less of an immediate story. And more of a, like, kind of wandering around just doing... doing stuff? Let me guess the- oh yeah, the arrows do have weight. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, what was- what was a good example? Korea had, like, a story, but it was very- it was very limited in wit- uh, in kind of how it showed itself, and it was nice. I don't know. Anyway. We'll have- we'll have this area cleared of dangerous creatures in no time. But job well done. Let me give you my old backpack. It might come in handy when you're out in the field. So have you lifter.
Let's see. Wonder if you ever played Black and White. I haven't, actually. Uh, first Molyneux game I ever played was, uh... Was Fable. And the last, actually. Okay, Iron Sword? Iron Sword and some Iron Armor. Fancy. I don't know why... It, uh, can I... Nope. I was really hoping I could actually take the chest with me or something for storage, but I guess I don't need storage that much. Hmm. We should probably eat some berries or something. Okay, let's equip this. Equip both. Come back here, foul beast. I wish to fight you with this sword, now. It's okay. Trading blows is what I do. Okay, so we get 20 skill points. Um, let's see, 75 skill points to increase my attack by one. It's probably not a bad idea to save up at this point. All right, and go get some iron at the very least. Black and white would be worth a throwback Thursday or something. Maybe? I'm not sure if I could ever get black and white running on my PC, though. Like, that's that's the one unfortunate thing about older games, is they don't always work. Another foul demon. Have at you, squiggly creature. Fight me. Give me your dragon blood. It feels like I'm almost playing a mud that's been turned into a sandbox game. Which is fascinating. It's also very dark down here. There we go. Burn blood. I should probably go back up to the surface and, and heal. Let's see, there might be a GOG copy of Black and White. Maybe? I, I think it's also one of those where I, okay, randomly just couldn't go up anymore for whatever reason. Uh, I think it's also one of those where, like, you guys have all this nostalgia for stuff like Black and White. And I might play it at some point, maybe, if I could get it working, but, like, since I lack the internal nostalgia, I'd rather play, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon or something like that. That actually would be a really fun game to think about. You're so good at this stuff. Were you a hunter before the crash? Heh. <laughs> Never killed an animal in my life before this. I was a scientist. Lab work. Molecules. Wow. How'd you figure it all out, then? It's amazing what you can do when you need to survive. You change. You become someone your old self would barely recognize. Oh, I don't get HP back. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, every single time we go back, some berries get stolen. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Dragon blood is worth a lot of health and stamina. That's good to know. Let's drop off all the arrows in the bow. I'm just gonna go full on iron on on this. Uh, let's grab all the coal out of here. We should probably consider figuring out smelting, because we could make some steel, but I don't know really what that's gonna do. Okay. So that's gonna go. What are my immediate quests? Build a farm. Ah! That's what we need. So we might as well prioritize that along the way. I think now that I'm wearing armor, stuff like the, uh... Stuff like the pigs will be at least relatively less dangerous? We'll see. Okay, so let's... That's 15 wood exactly. Ah, well. Nice! I'll put up the barn and plant some wheat seeds. Now we have a farm. Stop by on occasion to pick up some growing crops. That'll help restore your stamina. Here, take some bread to keep you going while it grows.
Okay, so enter farm. Harvest wheat, still growing. Okay. So I can make bread. Bread is just stamina. Meat, meat is health. But I want to see if there's something better. What do you think of building a kitchen? Meat is good, but it's even better cooked. I'll need 10 wood and 10 coal to build the kitchen. I'd like to keep the wildlife in check around here. Could you use the workbench I gave you and make six fences? Then we could start setting up a perimeter. Well, first I'm gonna need wood. Oh, plenty. A throwback Thursdays doesn't sound like a bad idea. Could be. What is today, Thursday? You guys just want me to play Roller Coaster Tycoon in black and white right now. I get it. It's not actually a bad idea. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna make it terribly far in this right now. There's something about this visual design that actually, like, hurts my eyes, especially as we move. I should probably eat at least one of the- one of these meats. Like, what it's got ain't actually that bad. It's just, I think, uh... I think... What... What sandbox mechanics that I like are kind of held by back just pure, purely by the the visual design and the plainness of the actual gameplay. I try, I don't know. I try not to be uh, terribly harsh on games, and like I am enjoying this, but it's very clearly like one of those where it's like I can't. I'm not sure if I can see myself uh, beating this in a night. Okay, so I need ten coal. Uh, let's eat some more meat. Let, let's just get up to full health and full stamina. More or less full stamina. Okay, because yeah, we need ten coal for this. Okay. Hole's good. It's a foul beast. Ow! This hurts. It is... I've met my match. It flees. Come back. Come back, creature. I have slain the beast. I will now drink its blood. As you do. Farewell. I'd like to get some better equipment so we don't have to worry about that as much. Because, ouch. Okay, good. It does look like the trees just randomly grow back. Ish. There's a lot of apples growing around here. With enough seeds, I could probably plant an orchard. Great! With this many apples, we have enough apple seeds to plant an orchard. Seeds can be planted on grass tiles as long as there's enough empty space to plant them. Right here looks good enough to plant the apple seeds. You can also use seeds to change crops in the barn. If you want to make new seeds, just let me know. Well. That helps. Okay. Uh, I'm at a workshop to turn those metal bars into tools. I can make one for five iron bars and five wood. Okay. Now, I don't have any iron bars right now. Right, we have to go talk to the, the builder. Maybe? I assume the builder already went to bed. There he is. You can dig a tunnel to sneak... Oh. You can dig, dig a tunnel to sneak up on boars and hit them from behind. You are not useful. Well. Let's store... Everything. You wanna move around so I can actually talk to you guys? Unfortunately, they're all piled up and I need the builder on the bottom. There we go. Looks like you have everything you need. Let's get this kitchen built. You can cook food in the kitchen as long as you have wood or coal to fuel it. Okay. Actually. Oh, I see. He'll take extra. Okay, cook in the kitchen so I can make steak. But we should probably add two fuel. I 
I want to make as many stakes as I possibly can. We'll probably want to go grab some more uh, coal, I guess, while we're at it. So let's go grab that. Oh. Free treasure chest has a rusty axe. I'm assuming it's better than my stone axe. But let me actually check that. Stamina per hit. Yeah. Okay, so the rusty axe is better. Also, there is a durability system at least on uh, combat equipment. Okay, so maybe now we can get up the mountain. A vast beast. Your days are numbered. My health also very much numbered. Ow. Uh, no, we don't want max health. We want... I've got 42. I could look into evasion. Alternatively, I could keep... I could keep, keep fighting. The beast d devoured the dragon's blood. No, never mind, it did not. Okay, that is good. Perfect. Onwards. I will slay the next one. You flee from me. You get a smack in the butt. Alright, thank you. And off we go. Okay, so th this is the kitchen, yeah? Alright, let's add... A whole bunch of fuel, so we can keep making that steak. Now, does the fuel just drop when we have nothing left? No, good. I always hate that in games. So how do we actually collect it? Does it go... maybe it goes back in the storehouse. Here's... okay. Uh, where's the steak? Oh, I see. I have to actually manually collect it. In that case, steak heals for twice as much. So I can eat two steaks. Eh, might heal for a little bit more than that. Okay, so still can't make any steel, but that that's okay. Drop off the dragon's blood, drop off the stone axe, iron bars, steak, wood... Okay, so, gotta find more iron, gotta find other stuff. Or, alternatively, we could just call it here. I... I enjoy the idea of this game, I think, more than the actual execution. Uh, the idea of, you know, sand, sandbox settlement type games. Uh, I really enjoy, especially when you actually have, like, a hand in things. I go, someday I'd love to play a game that's kind of like, uh... You know, this, or Dragon Quest Builders, or whatever. Where it's a little bit less on rails, and it's more just kind of like... I guess a cross between Don't Starve and Banished would be amazing. There's a couple of games that kind of get there. Oh. I am out of stamina and am going to just slowly melt. Because I forgot to bring my berries along. And I'm not actually sure how to leave. Well, this is this is a series of unfortunate mistakes. Let's just go sleep. Oh, I'm still out of stamina. That's... that's rough. Alright, uh, how do we save? I don't know how we save. I assume we've saved. Perfect. So yeah, this is a neat game. I think it's like 10 bucks on Steam. It's not bad. They also have like a 10-hour demo on their website. So if you do want to give a ground to go, uh, check it out there. I can have a link to that in the description below. I guess with this, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We might figure out what dying does. Alternatively, I could just go find out what dying does right now. All right, one moment. I must go fight with a pig. Hello, pig creatures. Murder my face. They apparently cannot turn around. I, my potato man looks so upset whenever he gets smacked in the face. He's like, nah, nah, where? I have potatoed. We have game overed.